President of the United States is president nowhere, no matter where he goes. But under an obscure horse and buggy era provision of the state constitution, when the governor leaves the state, he has to turn over the reins of the governorship to the lieutenant governor. And that's why Gavin Newsom is lieutenant governor at this moment, and has been since Sunday. But on Tuesday, he's going to be leaving the state. So the governorship will then fall to Daryl Steinberg, the president pro tem of the Senate. But only for one day because he's also leaving the state, which means that Tony Atkins, the Speaker of the State Assembly, will be the acting governor, presumably until Jerry Brown finally returns. Does this mean anything? No. But it's kind of a quaint sort of thing that's in this Constitution. And in the, in the past, there have been some occasions in which it has actually had some effect. In 1965, for example, when Jerry Brown's father, Pat Brown, was governor, he was in Europe when the Watts riots broke out, leaving it to Lieutenant Governor Glenn Anderson to call out the troops. But he was criticized for not calling them out quickly enough, and it kind of ruined his political career. And then when Jerry Brown was governor the first time around, he would often leave the state to go campaign for president, which meant that a Republican, Mike Kerb, was the acting governor. And Mike Kerb used the opportunity to appoint judges and do all sorts of things, which made Jerry Brown kind of upset, but not upset enough to stay in the state. So for a while, we've got four governors this, this week, four governors in four days. Now, most states only have one governor. We've got four. And if Tim Draper has his way, we'll divide California into six states, and then we could have six governors, all of whom would have to have acting governors when they leave the state as well.